Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Code Circuit. In today's video, we'll be looking at the code of radix sort in C++. Okay, this will be the second part. I have already showed you how to understand and learn the radix sort algo. Yes, uh, this is here. You can see on the screen. So we have already learned how to understand the algo behind radix sort. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to code it. Okay. I already have the pre-written code. I will be showing you line by line how to execute it. Okay, fine. So before starting this, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family. And at the same time, thank you for supporting us. And if you really like this videos that we make, please give the videos a thumbs up, like them and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified about the latest updates. Okay, so thank you. So as I said, Today I will show you how the code actually works for Radix sort in C++. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to my IDE now. Okay, you can see I have the code and I have made it with proper comments so that you understand it better. Okay, uh, as we know that Radix sort actually works from units place to tens place to hundreds and so on, right? And you have to find the max, right? I have three functions here. If you see, uh, see this is the Radix sort function. It takes the array and the size. Okay, then I have the function to find the max element in the array. Guys, if you have not gone through the radix sort algo video, I am giving you the link in the description. Please go and look at it. Try to understand it. Then only you will understand the code how it works. Okay, so I will give you the link of the description. And also, radix sort is dependent on count sort. So you have to watch the count sort algo in the video as well. Okay, I will give you the link in the description for radix sort algo and also for the count sort algo and code implementation. Okay, you go through them, you will understand them. Then only you can understand this video. Fine. So as I said, this is the function to find the max value. Okay, in count also in radix also we have to find the max value. After that. You can see we have the count sort function. Okay, the find max function obviously takes the array and the size, and the count sort function it takes the array, it takes the size, and it takes the exponent. Why the exponent? Because as I said, we need the units, the tens and the hundreds and so on, right? So you have to divide by one, ten, hundred, and so on. Fine. So in the main function here, you can see we have the array. Then we have the dynamic size calculated like this size of the array divided by size of any element of the array okay this will give you the dynamic size you don't have to write any static size okay then we are calling the radix sort function okay after that simply we are printing the sorted array that's it right so let's go to the radix sort function and see what it is doing okay here we are simply calling the find max function here if you see the find max function simple we are initializing the max element to be the first element of the array then we are iterating over the array and then obviously we are just returning the max from this as simple as that you already know that right so what we are doing is we are calling this max function because based on that we have to check the number of iterations you know that right guys from the radix sort algo you know that we need the max number of iterations based on the maximum digit in the array okay the largest element in the array will give you the number of iterations in the radix sort algo correct after that what we are doing is we are starting from the units digit you can see that's why the exponent variable is equal to one then we are dividing the max by the exponent as long as it is greater than zero because if it becomes greater than zero then we have already finished the number of iterations and simultaneously what we are doing we are just doing exponent equal to exponent into 10 so it will be 1 in the beginning then it will become 10 then 100 and 1000 and so on okay fine then simply in this each iteration of radix sort is count sort right you know that so we are calling the count sort function by passing the array the size and the exponent initially it is 1 then 10 then 100 and so on depending on the max value okay so you understood the radix sort how it is working and obviously guys you already know about the count sort function correct here you can see we have already discussed about the count sort here there are a little bit of changes okay this you know this is the output array to store the number of elements okay then we have the count array to count the number of elements right this is a non-comparison algorithm we just count them right guys please go through the videos also so that you can understand better about this fine after that you can see we are just counting the elements in each occurrence in each exponent okay units place tens place hundreds place and so on so initially exponent will be one 
and then you can see we are doing mod 10 why because we need that particular element yes got it so that means if you think of a number let me just take an example say the number is 326 then if you do exponent by divide by 1 obviously it will be 326 only okay then if you do mod 10 what will be the answer the answer will be 6 so initially you got that single digit that is required for our count sort right we know that count sort works for single digit numbers okay 0 to 9 all this number of digits can be handled fine and say if you want the next number what will you do because if you see here see guys exponent becomes into 10 right initially it is 1 so 1 into 10 will become 10 right now see here in the next step it will be 10 so this becomes 32 integer division got it 6 will not come then what is 32 mod 10 it will be 2 obviously so you got true to the next digit and after that it will be 100 so then you will get 100 into 3 is 300 right so it will be 3 so 3 mod 10 will be 3 okay so ultimately you got to 6 then 2 then you got to 3 right that's why this is working got it now so that is how actually this exponent value is actually giving you the single thing single digit ones tens and hundreds okay and the rest of the things are almost same you can see first we are counting the cumulative count you know that right the current element is equal to the current plus the previous this is what is happening here you have to go through the video guys then only you will understand that okay after that you can see we have to start from the end of the array here so you can see n minus 1 going till 0 minus minus because we always have to start from the end of the array because the cumulative count is taken from the left so we start updating the array from the right hand side okay and rest of the things are same here you can see here only the difference is we have the exponent and the mod 10 here every time okay fine after that initially we have the output array but we have to modify the input array only whatever is given here right you can see here this is the input array we have to modify so we are copying the output see we're copying the output back to the input array that's all now guys see the elements given here 84 599 etc etc like this let me run this and show you see the sorted array is 0 9 68 76 84 150 420 599 and 1000 okay so this is working absolutely fine guys if you have any doubts in this you can ping us in the comment section but i hope if you go through the algo and the other videos given in the description you will understand properly about it and try to write it after trying to go through the algo okay try to write it on your own if you don't understand please ping us or else try more and more try to go through this video once again you will understand okay so thank you for watching i hope you have liked this video please stay tuned for more content like this we will be bringing you more lots of dsa contents in future okay so stay tuned and thank you for supporting us if you like this content please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so till the next video this is Saurabh signing off bye bye and happy learning